Hey guys, welcome to Robin's Crochet Creations and Spin Crochet Repeat. This is the first video in the Utah Yarn Tease Water series, and today we will be washing this tease water. I'm going to do the process a little bit different than I did in the Shetland series. Um, and one thing that I wanted to kind of take note of here is how much weight is lost from um, the raw state to the clean state after we wash out all of the uh, the dirt and oils and lanolin and all that. So I'm going to weigh this in ounces and I've got a pound and 2.6 ounces and some of that's going to be the bag. So I'm going to take this out and put it in my mesh laundry bag. You can get these at, um, that's all it is. That's all it looks like. You can get those at the Dollar Tree. And they will hold quite a lot. Um, so one pound and 2.6 ounces. And then I weigh that. And that is 0.3 ounces. So that's going to leave us with 1 pound and 2.3 ounces. And I now have the tease water in the bag. And I'm going to do a cold soak this first time. Because... As I got to working through a lot of the Shetland wool, I'm fairly certain I nearly felted some of it. So, felting comes from heat plus agitation. So, I'm going to just get a, do a cold soak. You can already see the dirt kind of coming out there. Um, I'm going to do a cold soak. I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes, and then I will prepare in this other side of my sink another cold soak because that's also something that contributes to felting is sudden temperature shifts. So I'm going to let this go for 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll come back and see what kind of difference we've made. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes, and it's been soaking in just plain cold water. So I'm going to gently lift this now, and while this was um, soaking, that is really dirty. It's not quite showing up as dirty on the camera as it is. It, it's almost a caramel color. I'm going to let that drain. And while this was soaking, I went ahead and filled up the other side with some more cold water. And I mixed some dish soap in it so that it would be well dispersed throughout the water and not have to be, um, the water wouldn't have to be moved around. I'm going to gently press this to get as much of that dirty water as I can out because there's not much point in putting it in clean water if we're just going to add dirty water to it. You may can see there's already a, a good bit of a difference. See some brighter white spots, so I'm going to whoa, nearly drop the camera. I'm going to gently press it down in there in the soap water. I'm going to repeat the process of letting this sit for 20 minutes. And um, probably about halfway through, I'll give it a peek to see what color the water is and may, um, if it's still pretty dirty, then I'll do another, um, get more cold soapy water ready back in this first basin again. 
and uh, keep going until we get it pretty clean. All right, so we went from water that looks like that, clear but soapy, to water that looks like that. Definitely not clear. So I'm going to get the water draining out of this side. And we will once again move it into some cold soapy water over here. I do want to let this drain down and then we'll take a peek at the wool and see what kind of a difference we see. You see that water going out there was pretty dirty. I'm going to gently because I'm, I don't want to risk any felting and it shouldn't. Trying to be easy with it and with it being cold water. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to be careful. So we still have a good bit of dirt running out of there. And I'm going to open this up if I can, one handed. And well, it's a getting there. It's a getting there. There we go. So we can see the difference. You can see we're still maintaining the curl and lock structure. So I'm going to close this back up and we will get it moved over to the new bath water. I'm going to let it soak and we'll just repeat this process until we end up with clean water. Alright, so what I'm doing now is doing kind of like a rinse where I have the water just a little bit warmer than it was before. It's still fairly cold. Um, well, it's cool. It's not cold. And I'm going to try to just gradually step up the temperature rather than do any drastic temperature changes. As you can see, we still don't have, um, we don't have much dirt left in this wool. Um, but, uh, we're, so we're making progress. But I'm going to, I have this over here, as you can see, there's, there's soap over here. I'm going to, I've got it fairly warm, but not hot. And this is just a little bit, ste a step up above the cold, cold water that we had before. So we're going to step that up just a little bit at a time and see um, how that does and continue to do our best to avoid felting. All right, so I uh, gradually stepped up the temperature of the water until um, it was pretty hot. My tap water comes to about 140 degrees and um, I let that soak for a while. As you can see, we have brightened up quite a bit from where we started. We still have a little bit of vegetable matter. I picked out most of the big pieces um, as I got it out of the bag and separated it out. Right now, I've got it over my sink on um, an old window screen with a piece of cheesecloth on it to um, kind of protect the the wool from any dirt that might be on the window screen because I didn't take the time to rinse it off. And um, I'm going to plug up a fan and let it sit overnight. And um, we'll get another check on it in the morning. I imagine as fluffy as it looks right now, we're going to see it fluff up 
quite a bit more. So we will check on it again in the morning and see what our results are. See y'all then. So it's the next morning and as promised we ended up with a much fluffier version of what we had when we ended yesterday. So I'm going to finish putting all this back in the bag and then we will reweigh it and that will give us an idea of the amount of weight that the, um, the yarn was holding in the form of grease. Alright, so we're all back in the bag and we're going to see our scale is zeroed out. And 15.7, 15.6 ounces, just to double check, yep, 15.6, so with a pound being 16 ounces, we, we lost a fair, a, a fair amount, more than what I was expecting, um, but that can also um, just show us how much extra weight a sheep carries around as it carries around all this beautiful fleece waiting for us to process it. So there you have it. And in our next video, we will be uh, combing this into more spinnable, more easily spinnable fiber. See you then and thanks for watching.